How's it going guys? My name is Dom and today I'm going to be taking you through five of my favorite programming fonts. Now some of these are not going to be as well known as the other ones. I'm sure there's going to be at least one which you haven't heard of but if you are interested in popular fonts you have things such as Roboto Mono, Source Code Pro, Fira Code, Inconsolata and finally Cascadia Code plus many more but those are your popular ones which you may have heard before but like I said I'm going to be taking you through five of my favorite kind of unique ones so definitely worth taking a look at these ones and I use them on a daily basis so let's jump right into it. Okay, the first font on this list is called Martian Mono. Now, I recently discovered this font myself, and as you can see here, it features a lot of rounded edges, which makes it look especially good on high resolution displays, but also low res is totally fine. Now, according to Google Fonts, uh, this font here has been streamed about 381,000 times in the last week with about 5,000 usages on websites across the globe. So scrolling down here, you have the CSS if you're interested. And now going on to the Google Fonts page for the font, which of course I'm going to be leaving a link to down below. We can see here this font comes also with a variable font definition. Now, if you like, you can also go static and this font ranges from condensed to semi-expanded. And unfortunately, there is no ligature support as of uh, the current time of recording, but hopefully we see a ligature version of this font at some point in the future. So I'll let you guys have a look at this font for yourself and that's my number one pick for this video. Okay, the next font on this list is called Victor Mono. Now, this font here is quite special and I find myself switching to it every so often, especially when I'm trying to fit a lot of code on the screen. That's because this font here is thin by nature. As you can see here, um, the amount of horizontal space being used is quite a bit less compared to uh, most fonts that you see. Now, in terms of the stats for this font at the time of recording, it has had over 804,000 downloads or streams in the last week, according to Google Fonts, and it's also used on over 500 websites. Now, another attractive thing about this font is the fact that it comes with your uh, cursive italics. Okay, so you can see here on this comment, you have the cursive version of the font. It's really good in my opinion. Now, down to the CSS here, as you can see, that's what it looks like. So again, uh, quite good on high res displays and also low res, but going inside the Google Fonts page here, uh, in terms of the font uh, variations, you've got a uh, variable font, if you like, but also static goes from thin all the way up to bold. And you may have noticed earlier that this also comes with uh, the uh, comes with ligatures. So you can see here you have the ligature against uh, the arrow function here in JavaScript. So definitely a bonus for developers. Next is JetBrains Mono. Now, out of all the fonts on this list, this one here is probably the most popular, but as you can see here, it features rounded edges, much like um, the first font, and I kind of think of this font as a mixture between uh, Fira Code and Roboto Mono. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, but this here, once again, like the other fonts, looks great on both high-res and low-res uh, screens. And it's also well suited for developers. Uh, the actual developer of this font is, you may know, uh, JetBrains themselves, which of course are responsible for the JetBrains IDE for Java, Kotlin, uh, WebStorm, etc. So really popular font here. I think it's overall really solid, of course. And in terms of the Google Fonts stats, this has had around 11.2 million uh, streams or servings in the last week. And it's used on about 22,000 websites. Okay, so the CSS looks like this. Now, going inside the Google Fonts once again, uh, this comes also with a variable font and the static comes from or goes from thin to extra bold. And just like Victor Mono, it also has ligatures which supports the case that it is one of the best fonts for developers. So overall, really solid fonts to consider and definitely have downloaded on your machine. 
Okay, next up is Anonymous Pro. Now, this font has been around for quite some time, but some of you may not be aware of its existence. So it's a lot uh, wider as a font. And to be honest, this font here, I find myself using typically when I'm doing low level scripts or something that is not typically a larger application. Now, it doesn't mean that you can't use it for your larger applications, but something about this just feels like it should be used for, again, those low-level scripts like in Python or if you're doing, uh, you know, Node.js script, whatever you're doing. So that's what I find this font, uh, you know, comes in handy for and what I find myself using. In terms of these statistics, it's had, it's had about 18.7 million uh, serves over the past week on Google Fonts and about 170,000 websites have used it. Now, in terms of the uh, the actual font itself and the styles that it offers, unfortunately, uh, I can't see a variable version of this font. So please correct me if I'm wrong about this, but as far as I can tell, you only get 400 and then you got the italic and the same for the bold, then with the italic. So you got four uh, styles of the font, which is more than enough for uh, most situations. And it's also worth pointing out that you don't get ligature support with this font. I'm sure there's probably um, a variation out there because the font's been around for so long. Somebody's probably made a version with uh, ligatures, but as of my knowledge, it's not an official thing. So that's Anonymous Pro, definitely worth checking out. Okay, last on this list is Red Hat Mono. This font here to me feels like a mix between Source Code Pro and Anonymous Pro, okay? It's quite wide, but it is more rounded uh, than Anonymous Pro. So really nice looking font. Uh, according to Google Fonts, this has about 1.45 million uh, servings or uh, streams over the past week with about 6,600 websites that are featuring this font. Scrolling down to the CSS, it looks just like this. And once again, this looks very similar to uh, Source Code Pro or Office Code Pro, etc. Now, in terms of the font itself, it comes in a variable version, which is good, as well as the static goes from a light to a bold, which of course is downloadable on uh, Google Fonts itself. Now, unfortunately, there is no ligature support as to my knowledge. And we can see here we get the standard equals and greater than sign. But I think this font here is really solid. It looks professional, looks like something you want to use on a daily basis. So definitely worth, uh, of course, downloading this font here. And that is all for today's video. If you guys learned something and you enjoyed it, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next video.